What is going on, my fellow knights? My name is Mr. No One. Today we are bringing you guys a Black Ops 3 gameplay, and I'm using the M8 awesomeness, I guess. Uh, this is a TDM match. I wanted to get a really, really, really awesome gameplay, so I decided to get this one because, first of all, it started off really, really slow, but it ends up pretty decently. So hopefully you guys stick around and watch for the rest of the video on that. But today we are going to be channeling and talking about the upcoming Call of Duty series. And as most of you guys know, it's Infinite Warfare. Uh, now, here are my views and my thoughts, and hopefully you guys uh, bear with me just a little bit. I am honestly hoping that, yes, even though it's going to have more jetpacks and this and that, hopefully it plays a little bit better than the previous CODs. And what I mean by that is we all know the last Infinite War, or sorry, Infinity Ward game, which was Ghost, uh, didn't play all that great. <laughs> I mean, it, not a lot of people enjoyed it, and I'm just really hoping that it still got rid of that stigma because of the fact that it does bring down the game value just a little bit more i mean a lot of people were already sick and tired of playing ghosts just not even midway through the life cycle so hopefully that this infinite warfare comes out and it becomes a little bit better than ghosts when it comes to the the life cycle of the game because of the fact that you know we pay so much money for a duration of the game and we want that game to last for a very very long time the reason why i say that is because if you ask any old school gamer or anything like that that still has classic consoles like uh, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and so on and so on, they still are able to play those games because they enjoy those games because they have such a long life cycles. Now, this is way back before DLCs and all this other pre-order nonsense. You know, back when, when you bought the game, you bought the game and it was a finished product. So it was definitely worth the, you know, 30 bucks at the time, $40 at the time. And then uh and so on and so on nowadays the games are sixty dollars seventy dollars eighty dollars a hundred dollars and that's not even including all the little micro transactions that go on to the game itself so with that being said i'm just honestly hoping that at least this game will have a decent life cycle where it could be at least enjoyed for the full entire year i know a lot of people are enjoying black ops 3 because of the fact that there's just so much craziness to do if you get sick and tired of the multiplayer then go over to the zombies you get sick and tired of the zombies go back to the multiplayer or the campaign or this and that you know i think that these developers have lost their touch with the fact that a lot of you know a lot of these games nowadays are just multiplayer based they don't even care about the single player aspect of it now the reason why i bring that up and the reason why i say that is because also with infinite warfare comes modern warfare remastered and i am one of the lucky ones as i'm sure a lot of you guys are as well you got it for the ps4 and you got it for a got it for a month early which is really really cool really awesome and i've been playing the living daylights out of this as you can see in my youtube channel uh i have a let's play going on it as well so i'm gonna go ahead and leave a link for that uh check out my youtube channel and check out the let's plays of it but it brought back to the days where it's just simple call of duty and the reason why i say simple call of duty it is basic as bare bones as you could possibly get there's no jackpacks there's no laser weapons there's no guns that fire infinite bullets or this and that it is a simple simple call of duty and that's what i absolutely missed and i absolutely loved um yes the whole jetpacks and you know boosting while running that's all cool and all if you're you know not used to playing the old-fashioned call of duty and by that i mean call of duty for uh let's see what else world at war modern warfare 2 black ops the original uh it, pretty much all the way up to the last one which is uh right before advanced warfare where it really kicked off with the whole movement system so everybody's starting to get really sick and tired of this whole movement system and i don't blame them i don't enjoy it as much i mean it's fun sometimes to joke around and jump around everywhere but at the same time you're so used to looking up in the sky it's going to be completely hard to change around and go back to a boots on the ground style game and that's what i'm really honestly looking forward to i'm not looking forward to the whole infinite warfare experience that game if that game sucks i'm not going to play it as often but what i will be playing is modern warfare and the reason why is because it's plain it's simple and honestly it brings me back to the good old days of where cod used to be cod and it used to be more about strategy than you know seeing who has the best scuff controller in the market type of deal so hopefully you know when this game comes out at least it will have a little bit of a better life cycle a little bit better ideas and you know better mechanics than the whole 
boosting everywhere. I know it's going to have boosting in the game. I understand that. It's just I'm really intrigued on what style they have it as. Because obviously the advanced warfare mechanics is way different than Black Ops 3 mechanics. And they say the Infinite Warfare is going to have the same style of mechanics as Black Ops 3. But it's going to be toned down a little bit more. If it's toned down a little bit more, then yes, it's going to be super, super bearable. Which is really cool. And I cannot wait. But at the same time... I'm not looking forward to these uh, variant supply drops that Advanced Warfare had going into Infinite Warfare. And it's just going to be a another killer for the Call of Duty community. Because as we all know, we are getting sick and tired of these supply drops. I mean, if they were free, I wouldn't care less. But at the same time, I had the absolute worst luck with Advanced Warfare when it came to variant weapons. I've never gotten any of the awesome weapons that everybody seemed to get and be able to blow everybody's minds off right away. I had a struggle with all the basic weapons. Yes, I did get some elite weapons, but they were actually pretty shitty compared to all the other ones. So with this whole weapon variant, I'm not looking forward to that at all whatsoever. The only thing I'm really looking forward to it is seeing how the gameplay actually goes, which will be a little bit of a taster when it comes to the beta, which will be out next week on October 14th. So be on the lookout. It starts on Friday and will end on Sunday. So guys, if you guys have plenty of time, which I hopefully you guys do, try it out. Let that make up your mind because of the fact that the whole reason why they're having a the beta out and don't think it's just a beta beta like oh we are still got more bugs and fixes and this and that to do for this game no this is pretty much a finished product they had three years to develop this game this is their finished product and the beta is pretty much a screening that's all it is it's already finished it's down it's out it's already being shipped out this is just a screening just to get you guys more hyped up for it and hopefully later on maybe the patches will actually help out the game but once you start playing the beta you're really gonna know and figure out what the game truly has in store for everybody if it's not your thing go ahead and go into the modern warfare remaster because that right there is a classic for a main reason the main reason is because it is so much fun to play and it brings you back to what call of duty used to really honestly be which is basically boots on the ground and strategy base and that's what everybody fell in love with the game yes you're gonna have some of these perks that are just pain in the ass like juggernaut last stand and so on so on but at the same time you're not gonna be looking for people in the air everywhere flying around and all this other nonsense so i'm excited for both games coming out but i'm honestly more excited for modern warfare multiplayer that's the game that i'm really honestly waiting for and i cannot wait to get my hands on and play because of the fact that it brings back memories of when COD used to be fun. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, please feel free to leave a like. Let me know what you guys thought of the video in the comment section below as well. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and feel free to subscribe. We definitely enjoy everybody coming in and letting us know what exactly is going on. Until then, guys, my name is Mr. No One, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.